Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus only on how you can customize the admin page of the Keycloak version 24. It's a little bit different than other version, but uh, basically the style it's the same. If you're interested in this topic, stay with me until end of this video let get started so first I would like to show you what I have done in my Keycloak server then I will jump to the server part to tell you that how you can configure for your admin part okay this is uh, the login page which before also I made one uh, tutorial about that how you can add the custom logo or if you want to change the messages and so on uh, if you want to know about that you can watch my previous video about this login then uh, we will jump here to the admin part just for purpose of demo I changed the nav bar color just I want to show that there is a possibility to to do that but again it's based on your desire and also you can see here in the left side uh, I also added the, the icon for uh, the, the <coughs> this navbar and also I changed the uh, the fave icon if I can yeah I think now it's also visible you can see I add the, the fave icon in uh, this part and you can find it uh, my fave icon here already is showing so let's jump to the server part and to show you how you can change uh, all these parts for the CSS add the logo in your admin page and and so on so for admin page you would need come to the server part of the your Keycloak then uh, come to the library in the library main and you would need to search for org that keycloak admin ui let me yeah so you would need this uh, org keycloak admin ui which is the mainly the files for admin UI is located in this package also because you would need to combine all these items to one package and make it for 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 yourself uh, as a customized then you also need this uh, theme as well which before you already yeah this one uh, key clock uh, theme you would need this package as well because for logging and and so on so let's just focus on that part and I will show you how you can combine the admin with the other parts if you want to customize the login for example welcome and admin UI how you can do it so first of all you have to uh extract this file and after you extract this uh, file it will give you some uh, uh, folders same as the other packages and you will find some data here let me just go through this one and find it that file too yeah then you will find the theme and here you have the the some uh, resources which you can uh, drop 
your fade icon and this is for the icon and also the logo of the uh, your uh, your file and yeah uh, as I explained that uh, here we have the logo for logo of the key clock and uh, faith icon for faith icon of the key clock and then you can uh, change the, your faith icon here and the logo and you will uh, find your desired logo in your admin UI and also here there is the asset which is uh, about the different uh, part of uh, we can say the uh, for admin file for each section for for instance just I want to give you one uh, idea that how it work if we go for for example for nav bar I want to change the nav bar then if you come to to here you will find the some file like a index dash dm o u f blah blah so in that case uh, you can find this file in here you can find this file here in index this this item and if I want to drop it here let me just close this one and then you will find it yeah you can see all the files are here and you can change the the color of the nav bar for instance if I want to change the nav bar which I did in my case let me just here to find it If I jump to the server part, then uh, you can see here for this nav bar, this is the color color code. And if I get back to the the code and search for that one, then you will find I changed this color code here. For this specific item or is attribute then I change the, the color code so this is only for for the purpose of the demo I change the color of the nav bar let the uh, jump to the server part to for configuration to see that how you can configure all these files together and how you can uh, combine it and make it one package okay uh, this is the package which I made it here you can see I have the uh, two package for the theme and admin UI so I uh, may and combine all together so same as the the first one I provided the, the folder at the theme and meta dash inf so uh, let's first go to this part for finding the JSON file uh, you would need the one uh, define the JSON uh, format of that so for this JSON the same as for login and other parts you would need to define the two names one for me is the cost dash theme and I define the which types I want to put in this customized version login account common email and welcome and then I make another one I made it as an IOT the name and only admin is included nothing more so 
for this part I dropped and copied all the the files which is in the uh, f uh, f for the package for package of the admin part in, in this folder so let's go get back and watch together to see that what's included so this is the the cost theme which include the account common email login and welcome and all these parts is coming from the package of the the theme which is this package this package yeah this uh, combined the several packages and IOT is coming from this package this package I copied all these files I copied all this file and then paste in IOT for customized package of admin I made one folder as an admin and then I drop all these files here in this file this is the properties and this is the uh, index for HTML file of that um, let's watch together I, I actually I didn't customize this part of the HTML but uh, you can see this is the HTML part of that and you can if you want you can change for related topics and in the sources you will find the faith icon which is the my faith icon and also I drop my logo I didn't change the the name of that just I changed my you can see this is my logo as a SVG the the format is SVG so I dropped it in this folder and in asset part as you can observe I only I changed the this file which I shown you before uh, for the nav bar after that I drop my faith icon I drop my logo here I change this asset for uh, the nav bar which I change only the color of that then uh, you will find some message here for the messages uh, but I didn't change it if you want you can change some mm, message or commands which is uh, or we can say notification and some some text which is located in the admin part you also find it here and you can change it but basically for this demo I didn't change anything here and after you uh, you have done all is set you have this part you have this uh, um, two folders for the demo then you would need to make the package so you can just uh, let me delete this package because before I made this package it just come here and make a new package in this folder here just in Okay. In provider, then I delete here, and you can drop it here. After that, you will come to the server part, and okay, see that bad build. It will 
update your server after you update the server you will you need to open running and then you can select which package you would need to trigger in your key clock so just we would need to wait for a few seconds the server to be ready and then we can jump to the server part to show you how you can select okay server is up and running and now I can connect to the server when you come here then you would need come to the realm setting and the theme and you can see here you have the the login theme uh, for I selected the custom theme here account custom theme and for admin I selected this IOT and after you save this all these packages it's already set and then you have your own theme for admin UI thank you so much for watching this video if you think this video was helpful so please don't forget to like the button and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification to inform you for new videos if you have any question or comment please drop in the comments definitely i will get back to you as soon as possible stay healthy see you in next one